this is going to be called prison pavement lighting. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, what I'm going to do here today is try to explain a little bit of my research on pavement light. Um, a very specific uh, portion of it. And that portion is going to be um, which came first, the pavement light or the mud flood. And this question has been posed to me um, in different ways throughout the last year. Um, and I have a theory on this, and I'm just going to kind of lay out my theory and uh, show you why I think uh, that my theory is the correct theory. Um, there are other theories out there, um, but basically there's uh, three theories. So the first theory, uh, oh, let me explain. Okay, if as you're looking here, th this this is pavement light. Okay, so this is up on the city street. These are this is your buildings and your windows, uh, your storefront windows, your bay windows in the front of the store. This is your sidewalk, and this is pavement light. This is glass prisms, uh, and this is your street over here. So this is all sidewalk. Underneath the sidewalk is something. This is this doesn't go with this, but this gives you a general idea. This is what it looks like underneath the the glass um, shines light down into the basement area, into the vault, because under here is what's called the vault. Um, the basement would be over here. And sometimes this vault goes underneath the street also, as you'll see. Now, these are purple here. Um, I've had these uh, purpled, is what I call it, um, because this is from a black and white photo, so is this. But I had uh, uh, Calum Wilkinson uh, purple these um because i think they're really cool like this and um it lets you see better uh what they look like and the reason they're purple is there was a an element in the glass that solarized when the sun hit it and after so many years uh the glass turned purple and uh some of them later turned straw color but anyways that's why they're purple and if you see them today and they're purple that means they're old okay their turn of the century uh, in uh, turn of the 20th century, um, uh, they were installed somewhere around the early 1900s, late 1800s, early 1900s. So uh, what I'm going to do here is um, the the point is which came first? Okay, did they did the mud flood come and raise the level of the the streets? over the windows and doors of the first floor, sometimes the second, sometimes the third, fourth, did the mud flood raise the level of the city with dirt? Okay, it came in as mud, like a mud flow. Some people believe it came from the top, but I believe it came in as a flow, and it covered the cities and it up to certain levels, in some places, four or five stories. Most places, I think it was more like one story, two stories, most of the time, but I have seen up to uh, four stories, um, but I believe there's higher. But the point being, uh, did the uh, mud flood come in and raise the level of the cities, and then in order to uh, use the basement levels, or the first and fourth, second, and whatever floors below that, uh, did they install these pavement lights in order to use them? I believe personally that's what happened. But others believe that these pavement lights were here installed in the old world. And this is old world technology, which I will not disagree that this could be old world technology, very possible. But that's not here nor there. Whether it is old world technology or new world technology, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about the 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 in situ, okay, that they they there, there's a the theory that they were that we installed them after, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s, or they were installed prior to the mud flood, and we uncovered them and used them. Um, I don't believe that's what happened, and I'm going to explain my theory on this, and and I'm going to show you in detail 
why I believe what I believe. There is a third theory, um, and that is that uh, it, um, I guess it's a third theory, but basically uh, the the mud flood came in and these uh, um. Oh, well, let me back up. Okay, the second theory is that that the mud came up to the level of the street that you see today, and that the pavement light it it raised the mud flood to the level of of the current day street, which if you think about that, that makes no sense. But some people believe this. Another theory would be that the third theory, I guess, would be that the mud was raised even higher. And they uncovered it down to this level where this pavement light is. Okay, I I think that theory is probably just complete horseshit. But let's stick with the two theories mainly. Basically, were were the pavement lights built prior or after, pre or post mud flood? Okay, now my theory also says if if the pavement lights you, you, okay, you can't have mud flood if we installed the pavement lights. I mean, no, excuse, excuse me, this is confusing. You you cannot have if we if the if the pavement lights were installed prior to the mud flood. Okay, I don't believe you can have mud flood. I don't believe that that the the mud was raised. And we uncovered them or the mud was raised to the level of the street today okay and then the pavement lights just happened to be there I, I, that just doesn't ring true to me so basically i feel that if if the pavement lights were there originally there is no mud flood and the mud floods horseshit okay but i am a mud flood researcher uh it's one of many things i am but that i definitely call myself a mud flood researcher and I believe that there was a mud flood, and I believe that we installed these. And so I believe that you can have a mud flood because we installed them. Okay, now I've talked around the bush here long enough. I know that's confusing, but I'm trying to explain it because it's complicated. But people were asking me this question, and it's time that I laid down my two cents on it. Now, if you want to know more details, and I've done four videos on pavement lights right now, and I plan on more. But I've already done four videos, uh, and uh, you can watch those shedding new light on prison pavement lighting. And uh, you might live in a mud flood city if uh, those videos go into great detail about uh, what pavement lights are, the history of them, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but that's not what I'm doing here today. Today, I want to talk about the architecture of the structural installation about the pavement lights okay so that's what this video is going to be about now moving forward what we have here is a diagram of these vaults okay this is your building okay this block right here the center is what's called the vault this is your sidewalk and this is what the pavement light would be sitting on now over here you have the retaining wall Okay, and this is really key. Here's your roadway, okay, your curb. But here's key. All this area here, okay, is dirt. Okay, all this area here is air. Okay, open space. It's a vault. Okay. Going this way, you have a building here, and that looks solid. Okay. But in reality, it's it's more like a foundation column. And I'll show you in further pictures what I mean by that. But what I'm wanting to show here is that my theory is that they the mud flood, all this was all this here, everything from this line here, okay, even possibly higher, but at least to this point, okay. Probably not much further, but at least to this point, I believe was mud flooded. Okay, so the this was the first floor. Let's say this is uh this is the first floor, but it's now the basement now. 
Okay, I believe all this was mud flood. Okay, this is all dirt. Okay, mud is dirt once it dries. Okay, so this is all dirt. Okay, and then in order to get this vault installed here, they had to dig this out. Okay. And they had to build this retaining wall. Okay, you have to build a retaining wall, and it has to be very strong because dirt creates a lot of pressure. Not to mention all the the weight on the road. Okay, they're they're extreme. There's a there's a lot of pressure, a lot of force going on that road, and a lot of dirt, a lot of weight. Okay, and it's all want to go this way. Okay, so you got this structure here. Okay which is concrete and steel and glass, okay? But this right here is not designed, this sidewalk, this, this pavement vault top, okay, is not designed to structurally hold up this road, okay? That's the job of the retaining wall. And every so often they have to put a wall going from the retaining wall to the building, okay, for structure. That is structural, okay? That is meant to hold back this mound of dirt here in the center of the road, okay? Now, um, I'm going to, and I believe that they, they what they did was they, they dug out this area, okay? And then I believe that the whole point, this is part of my theory, is I believe the whole, the whole point of removing this area is not to light the damn basement, okay? I believe that they were trying to get the windows and the doors so they could use them up on the first on the new first floor because the windows and doors would have been decorative. They would have been expensive, they would have been very useful. They needed them, okay? Because on the second story they would have had windows, okay? But they needed those doors. So what's easier to build a expensive door or to dig down and dig them out? Not to mention the fact they needed to hide them. And so they dug down here and they got them out. Okay, but then they had to block them up. And sometimes they left them open. And we'll see other pictures of that. We'll move forward. Okay, here's another picture. Okay, um, over here you have... Um, I'm trying to figure out my direction here. This is a basement. Oh, okay, I got you. Right here is your road on the right-hand side, okay? This is your sidewalk. There's your pavement light, okay? So it says pavement line, semi-prismatic light. The idea is the light comes in here, it hits the top of the prism, and it shines to the right or left, okay? Depending on how they did the prism. And it shines it underneath into the basement, okay? This here is a, a stall board, and they would uh, do the same thing there and get even more light in. They didn't do this as much, but they did do this. So all this under here is underneath the building, and your, your foundation would be right in this area here. So this picture doesn't show that. And they're saying this is the ground floor and this is the basement. In reality, this would have been the, the first floor, and the uh, storefront would have been right here. So that's not a very good picture, but it, it does have a point. Okay, there's a, th these are transoms up here, and these are uh, prismatic glass up here that allow, that shoot light deep in the building, because I believe that, you know, without the, without the, uh, well, they didn't have electric light, and uh, gas light's not very bright, and they needed light into these deep, you know, 75 foot, 80 foot deep buildings, and they couldn't get the light in there, so they put in these. I think this is something that we, this could be old world also, and they moved it up. Um, but I, I'm not sure. I, I this this I'm 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 tossed up on whether this is uh, something that uh, we put in because we had to, or that it was something in the old world that could go either way. But I'm not concerned about this. I'm concerned about these the prism lights down here. So this is the storefront. Okay, moving on. Okay, this is underneath. Um, a building and you see the uh, prismatic glass up here and this area here is the vault this over here is the vault and right here would have been a window or a door okay and this is what they 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 came in they took the windows and the doors out and they made this into an arch here and and they created the vault back here 
but this was originally a win in a door, okay? Now, this is a, a, a drawing, I realize that, but this is, I'm just talking about the concept of what they did. Uh, here is a another um, architectural, more of an architectural thing. This here is the, the dirt in the middle of the road. Here's your road. Uh, this is a retaining wall here, okay? Here you can see they framed it out in wood, it looks like. Um, and then this one's really interesting because right here, this is a coal hole cover here. And right here you have prismatic glass and here you have prism glass. And then down here you have more prism glass. And what that tells you is that there's a basement here and there's a sub-basement here, okay? So what they had to do was they came in here and they dug out this entire area here, okay? And they put in these fancy columns okay or these columns could have been here if you see how they match here and here and then they took these doors and windows that were down here and put them up here or if if this is this does have a sub basement okay this is the basement and there's a sub basement and i've even seen sub sub basements before um that these doors would have come from even lower um but basically they had to build this retaining wall here and then this becomes a vault okay so they had to remove all this dirt all this was covered in see it doesn't make any sense why you would even build a building like this why would in the time where you don't have any damn electricity why would you build uh rooms underneath ground that you can't even light and then come up with this elaborate crazy scheme to light it. I mean, do you have any idea the architectural uh, uh, craziness that's involved in this to try to even make this work? I mean, it it is difficult. Structurally, this thing is just a piece of shit, okay? They're failing all over the world now. That's why you don't see many of them today like you did in the early 1900s because they failed they were bullshit okay so even if these are old world i mean i just don't see the old world that could build these great you know huge old world uh buildings and then they build this horse shit it just doesn't add up i think we did this now i'm not saying that they didn't the old world didn't design these prism glasses they might have they there there's other uses for these things but this is my theory on this i'm moving forward Oh, here's just a little drawing. You see the chaotic nature of this thing. Is here's the 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 street and the the uh, dirt under here, and this is the vault. And in uh, the cities, they're using these to run pipes and electrical and uh, all kinds of phone and all that mess. Guys, okay, move forward. Here's another uh, diagram. Um, so you got your prismatic glass, and here's your retaining wall. Okay, so they would have come in here and dug this out, and then they would have created your vault here, and this would be your basement. Okay, moving forward. Um, here's a, uh, this is from a catalog. Um, here is your vault here, and also here on the right. And uh, here's your retaining wall. Okay, your retaining wall here. Uh, these are coal hole covers here. Um, they could also be used as prism light, but they were mainly, the round ones were mainly coal hole covers. Um, so you could see here, there's openings right here, and they're showing windows here, which is interesting um, in this photograph, or well, image, I guess I should say, drawing. This is from a catalog. They're, they're represent, representing uh, their product. Uh, these are uh, Hayward's patent lights. Uh, these were uh, a different brand of uh, payment lights. Uh, okay, here's another one. Uh, right here you have a coal hole cover. You see that light coming in? They're showing how the, the coal could be dumped into this hole here. Um, and there, this is the basement and this is the vault here. And you notice it has, it has little windows here. Okay. Why would you build windows underground? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, moving forward. Here's another version of the same picture. And they've added the prism lights. See if you see the difference there. You see how they've opened up the wall. See here, they're like, oh, we can use it as a, a, a coal hole. Right? 
and we don't have we we've got gas light and it's really dark blah 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 but then we put in the pavement light and it brightens everything up and we can use it oh yeah it's wonderful our business is running perfect now can you smell the horse shit ah smells just like horse shit anyways here's your uh this would be your retaining wall here okay cellar floor okay and they're having to put in this uh this foundational structure here it's kind of hard to see there there's your pavement light there your sidewalk um let's see this one uh your retaining walls over here your building would be over here there's your street up here um these are iron beams uh that are holding up the sidewalk this is an aerial view looking down here you see your pavement light this area would be right here and this area would be right here um i believe it could be these are all pavement lights i could oh no no i know what it is okay 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 i'm just trying to read the, it's hard i can't read the thing this is your pavement light this is a smaller pavement light and this is your cobblestone road that's right here sorry about that okay and this is the the vault showing uh interior uh structural uh walls okay that's a hard photograph to comprehend okay uh going in here you got your basement over here this is your vault this is your your dirt your roads up here and this is your retaining wall okay moving forward um this is your vault here this is your retaining wall and your 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 road would be right here and your uh, dirt would be here this would be a foundational support that either was there or they put it in and then they allowed uh, the light to go into the basement okay moving forward okay here's a kind of a larger city view um where in some places they ran the uh subways underneath the streets and you can see the elaborate uh horse shit they came up with this is all pavement light here going down the road okay so everything here is is hollow <laughs> you know all that's hollow and you can imagine the engineering it would take to do that and and then also imagine the 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 dirt that would have to be removed i mean it's phenomenal i don't know that this this is i don't know how real this picture is if this was a real location lemonade continuous vault gallery i don't know i'm not sure if this was a real location they're 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 selling an idea here so i'm not sure if it's a possible location or what but it's interesting to look at nonetheless okay your retaining walls right here your buildings up here uh this is your vault area here and your your foundational supports here this is all pavement light here all these circles okay moving forward okay um here's a a, a structural kind of a, a this is uh right here would be like a, a a steel uh cross piece that would support the uh pavement lights when they would do a like a poured concrete version um which was the most popular early uh they were made out of metal and they found metal uh was a bad idea they leaked like a son of a bitch and they rusted so uh they quit making those uh very quickly um and uh you can still find them today like in uh the tribeca neighborhood of uh new york um in soho um and they're very uh they're very cool looking but they're very dangerous okay uh here you can see your retaining wall uh, this is the building here your pavement light your retaining wall and here is your dirt with your your street right here okay and let's see oh let's see okay oh uh, there, 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 there's coal hole covers there um okay you're putting the coal hole covers there your vault is here pavement light the front of your building your basement's under here and this one even has a sub basement if you'll see right here there's more pavement light there and then there's a sub basement which with what looks like a sub vault <laughs> so you got a vault a vault a basement and a sub you got a vault and a sub vault and a basement and a sub basement 
I mean, that's crazy. It just it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, here's a business um, underneath the uh, sidewalk, and um, just from my guess, I would say what they're showing is that this is the 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 pavement side uh, sidewalk, and this is the vault, and the street is this the the back wall here. I would imagine is is probably the uh, retaining wall, but I'm not sure. I could be. I don't know if, which way I'm looking at it, but you got your foundational supporting here, your foundational, your columns uh, being your support, which are very elaborate, if you notice. Okay, let's move forward. Here's a, a an ad um, for these things. Um, you see how they had some really elaborate ones that opened up with star, stall boards and trap doors with elevators and coal hole covers and they had all kinds of crazy shit with this stuff. Okay. Um, here is a version where they would lay this frame down here and put these uh, cross pieces in here and your glass in here. And then they would pour concrete over all this, as you can see here. And then they would wipe off and, and level it up and wipe it off the glass. And this would uh, become concrete. And this version worked a lot better than the metal versions. Um, but even today, over time, they're failing and they are falling through. They're very dangerous today and they're getting rid of them. Um, and if they are uh, keeping them, they're having to take them out and create new structures for them because they're failing. But you have your vault here, your basements over here, your building here, and your retaining wall and your, your dirt with your street here. Okay, here's a, a Lux for... Um, uh, this is the whole building, um, what you can do on a building. They had all kinds of crazy shit about how you could move light around. Okay, because you got to remember, this isn't a time. Look at that ad for Luxor. Interesting. Uh, they had all different kinds of ways of moving this, uh, taking this prismatic glass and, um, and maneuver it. They had uh, these uh, pieces that would tilt and, and they could move the light as the day went through but here you have your sidewalk your retaining wall and this is your street and your vault is right here your basement's right here over here the same thing okay so they would have had to this would all have been dirt and they had to dig this out okay and uh now, and you gotta understand that the, the official story is that they say they designed it like this they, they, I mean, seriously, they designed a building and not one building. We're talking thousands of buildings. Okay. These things are in cities all over the world. Okay. They're in small towns and you've had them probably in your town and didn't even know it. Matter of fact, I had them in my town growing up and I had walked over them. I don't know how many times and never once noticed them. Okay, but most of them are gone now because they failed. Okay, and they've taken them out and they've paved them over. So, so this is this. These things are much more important. These things are key evidence to the mud flood. They are critical to understanding and proving the mud flood. Critical. This is on. I think needs to be on the top of the list of what people need to know about mud flood. And I'm trying to help people understand it. It's very complicated, but it's very interesting if you really get into it. Here's your dirt, your retaining wall, your vault. Okay, you got your basement over here. Okay, your prism sidewalks here. Okay, there's your street, your building here. Okay, right, moving on. Okay, there's uh, your frame, and this is your glass without the concrete, and this is your glass with the concrete. This is pre, what they do is they drop each little glass in, and they will concrete it over and wipe it off, level it up. There's your street, your, your retaining wall here, your dirt, and this shows how you have the foundations right here. And please note that they show brick in these pictures. You do not use brick for foundation. You do not use it underground. Okay, brick leaks. Okay, and anybody that's in construction knows this. Okay, it leaks. It leaks like a son of a bitch, and they know this. 
okay brick sucks it does not do good as foundation that's why when you see houses they have a different foundation when it goes underground look into that okay Here's a steel uh, frame they would put down uh, your retaining wall here and your dirt and your street your pavement lights. This is uh, they show kind of the stage of how it goes together. OK, moving forward. Uh, da, 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 the, da, let's see. Uh, OK, first floor, second floor. OK, and down here you have uh, your retaining wall, your your dirt, your street, your, your uh, vault here in your basement. Your pavement lights okay well that's interesting let me get back look at that look at that I call it that's really weird I got this labeled here as first floor they must be talking about down below not sure okay this is the same okay all right that's basically the same thing okay i think i was just trying to show how it all went together okay um and we got us a prop <laughs> all right you got your tiny wall your dirt your street your vault foundation and your basements over here this is your prismatic glass over here prism lighting okay uh got your prop again <laughs> this is your retaining wall your dirt would be over here with your street back here and this is your basement over here okay no iron exposed on surface okay got your retaining wall your dirt your vault okay your prismatic glass here okay you got your street up here, your your dirt, your retaining wall, and this is your vault, your sidewalks up here with your prism glass, and this is your basement. You got a sub basement in this one. Floor lights. <laughs> All right, basement floor. <laughs> What's this? It's the sub basement. Okay. It's interesting how they put these fancy columns right here in this picture. That's a bunch of horse shit. Okay. And here's a vault wall of how they structural. This would be your street up here. And this would be your uh, uh, retaining wall. And this right here would be a structural wall that would attach to the building to hold the retaining wall back. Okay, because the retaining wall is not strong enough. If you just, if you didn't put any support holding the retaining wall up, the retaining wall would collapse. Okay, here is a, uh, a coal hole. Um, and uh, this would be a coal hole cover here, and this would be dirt and dirt, a sidewalk in your cobblestone road, uh, retaining wall, um, your dirt, your road here, your sidewalk. Uh, these are I beams. Okay, um, this is a, a structural support wall for the uh, retaining wall. Your vault here. Your building would be over here to your left. Okay. All right, next we'll look at some pictures. Okay, these are some uh, pictures of uh, the vault areas um, that I wanted to do a little more looking at here. Uh, there's a pavement light right there. You can see um, it, this is uh, the, they're fixing this. This is hollow in here, so this would be another vault, like a, a vault in front of a vault. They might have had, uh, uh, or this could be, uh, where they've moved it over but i'm not real sure about that but anyway that's not what i'm trying to show this area here is a vault that they're repairing okay it has either failed or they had some problem with it or they're updating the building and you see here where this was open okay and they're uh trying to repair this area but you can see that this was all open area here it might have had retaining walls going this our, our structural retaining walls uh this is a retaining wall the a structural retaining wall there um, but you can see how big these areas are. They're, they're really big. Okay, these are some guys trying to work and fix a vault that has collapsed. And you can see the, the, the stone work that they've done to make these retaining walls. This is a support wall to the retaining wall over here. And up here is the vault. Uh, 
sometimes they had lights, sometimes they didn't. Okay, but I, I sometimes they didn't put in prism prism lights. But a lot of these sidewalks that you see, even though they don't have uh, any signs of prism lights, they were hollow underneath because they had vaults because they went in, they took the windows and doors off to use them. Okay. Here's a, a collapse. Somebody had gotten hurt in this one where it fell through. Okay, and you can see the uh, the vault here. These are vaults. These are uh, the structural walls holding up the retaining walls back here. Okay, these things are you know just failing left and right today. A lot of people getting hurt. Okay, here's where a car has fallen through. See, here's a vent grate. Well, what's under that vent grate? Okay, this is all hollow. Okay, and you see there's pavement light right there. See that? That's the old school stuff. That's the kind of stuff you would see in Tribeca neighborhood. Matter of fact, this could be Tribeca, for all I know. I don't have any evidence. Uh, 54 Franklin sidewalk collapse. I don't know where 54 Franklin is. I don't know. Anyways, you can see how how they, you know, you can see where they see this concrete here. This is this is a later addition. They they tried to cover over the the uh, pavement lights here because they were failing, and uh, that didn't work. So they uh, collapsed when this car drove over it. People do it all the time. Now this is really special. I believe this was in a place called Butte, Montana. Don't hold me to that. But basically, they went to go do some renovation on the sidewalks. And when they started undercovering it underneath, well, they still found the windows and doors. So this is a vault, okay? And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they did have pavement lights that were covered up. But they had pavement lights. Anyways, point being, this is a vault, okay? And you can see the, the this is the retaining wall back here, and this is the structural wall going to the building. But you can see that when they uncovered it, they had the original windows and doors. And you see why I'm saying they, they needed to get down here and get these out? You know, would you want to build that in 18, you know, 100, 1850? No. Would you rather build this elaborate door? this nice door and this is probably not the a nicer one but and they were usually even bigger than this would you want to uh, you know make this door which is not easy or would you want to just dig some dirt and go get you a door go get you you know your window frames okay well this here that they failed to get it out for some reason they didn't get this one out they left it here which is, I mean, that's that's evidence of mud flood right there. I believe this is in Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. This is underneath the uh, city streets. And you can still see the uh, windows here um, that, are, that are left behind. They never took them down. Okay. They're still there. <laughs> so they give this tour and people are like, Oh yeah, they they got these windows doors below ground. You know that makes sense. Oh, we get the horse shit gets deeper. I'm, I got another picture for that. Um, I'm gonna show you. This is a modernized uh, location where they've taken it and adapted it, and they've had to add all this extra steel here. So you got your pavement lights up here. They've used the vault. Okay, it looks like for a bar. If I had to guess. But they've added all this steel. Because this shit's horse shit. Ain't no good. Ain't no good at all. Well. This thing ain't working. There it goes. Okay. This is probably the same area. And you see your big open vault here. You got your pavement light. Okay, here's some work on a, a vault. This is in Butte also. Yep. And this is your stone retaining wall. This is something that we built. Okay, in my theory, we built this. Okay. Um, and you can see the, the stone here. Okay. And notice how 
um, th this is a good point. I didn't even thought about this until just now. You know, this is built out of stone, okay? But when you look at most of these buildings down here, see, they've taken out the brick down here, and they've, 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 it's probably what they're doing here is they're probably putting in new columns because the foundations were failing, okay? I don't know for sure, but that's probably what they're doing. But right here, they use stone, okay? Not brick, because stone it is, it, it, it works a lot better as a, as a, a for water retention. Okay, it, it, it's not like the brick. See, this brick is, is made with, it, this, it's like sand, you know, and it, 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 the water just seeps through it. And I believe with the, the stone, they have like a concrete mortar that's uh, a lot, um, lot better on uh, not letting the, uh, the water through. I, I, I don't know the terminology here, but uh, th this is interesting to me that they use stone here. And I bet you if you, if you looked, uh, earlier before they did this this was brick down here so just a thought but you know another thing you look at look at the area that's open there i mean does that i mean does that make sense structurally i mean th there's a building on top of this you know i mean that's a, that's a huge opening but i don't know i mean they've they've engineered it somehow see right here um they bricked this over there. Their stone retaining wall. <laughs> this guy's, he's like, boss, <laughs> we got a problem. <laughs> we done found windows and doors below ground. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I mean, you can see how the old steel uh, beam has collapsed. See, it, the, look how rusted it is. And uh, so this would be the original building. They see how it's brick. We you don't build a, a building retaining. You don't build a foundational wall underground with brick. The water seeps in. Okay. So this is this is the original first floor, or second, or whatever. But this was originally above ground. Okay. Now I can't say whether or not this here, this little arch, is original or not. I can't say. Um, it's possible we did that, um, but I, you know, it, that's hard to say. But this brickwork here is it would be original to the building, and we would have added uh, this here. Um, I wish I could see what this is made of. This other side here. Okay, here's another one. Um, it, it, you got. You know, this is your, your structural wall holding up your retaining wall over here. This is the old I-beams that we would put in to put in the pavement light. Your vault area. And if you notice, this is, you know, concrete block here, okay? This is us. This is today we did this. This guy right here, okay, probably did this, okay? But this is your foundation, or what they're using is the foundation right here and here, okay? And they this would have been the original first floor. See, notice this brick. You don't build foundation out of brick below ground. It leaks. And they knew that back then now. Don't, don't, you know, don't think they didn't. They did. Okay. Um, See, they got stone here, which is interesting. So you could you can use brick here, going from here to here. That's not a problem, not a problem at all. You can definitely use brick as as the support wall. Okay, here would be problem. You'd you'd have to use something better than brick as your retaining wall. Brick wouldn't hold up the load that would come from that. Okay, so you got brick below ground here. And you see they're adding concrete block here. That's because this is horse shit here. This isn't supposed to be below ground. See how degraded it is? And see these, these old pavement lights are failing. 
can see why the water gets you know the concrete breaks and the water gets in once they're not sealed anymore they become death traps you got your pavement light you can see the eye beam going across here okay and let's see it's hard to tell which way the building is but i would say this is the building over here because you got your windows right here and look at these nice you got these stone window seals here that's interesting why would you put big ass why would you put windows blow ground but why would you put windows with big stone uh window seals <laughs> i mean it's below ground i mean who's gonna see it <laughs> i mean what? it don't make any sense oh oh wow we got you know windows right here you know i believe this is seattle if i'm not mistaken um but the, you know still got the windows there i don't know that's just crazy there's the same area it's crazy this is all underneath the sidewalk there's another collapsed one now here is an old photograph i found um where they're actually doing the work and putting this stuff in you see how they got it opened up down here see i'm thinking that uh you know it's hard to say but um you know you have to wonder if this stuff right here was down here and they brought it up here and reinstalled it and don't think that can't be done because it can absolutely can Wow, that stunt brick underneath ground level. Top of your sidewalk here, bottom of your sidewalk there. This is just a, a bricked up uh, foundation. What well, they're calling a foundation, but it's actually the outside wall. You can see there was a window here. Another open vault they're working on. And this one. Right here is uh, it, this is the original building here and here and here, okay? And this area here is what's called poured concrete. And what they do is they bring in these steel molds, okay? And they, they build up a wall here and then they pour concrete in that and it creates this concrete wall. They're building a lot of basements out of that today in uh, new construction, new home construction. Um, and uh you know it's, it's just a new fad now but uh here's underneath uh you can, this is a great shot because you can see you know you got brick here as a foundation okay and this looks like it was you know probably you know I got, i'd love to see what that's made of right there because you got brick here but what is this is it this brick too i don't know something strange about that look at that you got a a door right there going underneath the street wow It just gives you a whole different perspective. This car <laughs> broke the sidewalk, and when they open it up, you got windows, and, you know, doors, <laughs> areas below ground. I mean, why would you build a building and add that, and and then you can't even see it? <laughs> you know, I mean, just why? It it just doesn't make sense. And see that they, they probably came in here, took the windows and doors off. These are probably what came from here. Here's somewhere they're doing some work and they've got it exposed here. Oops. 
Okay. All right, moving on. Okay. What we have is a image of a uh, building here. Okay, and uh, th this would be the mud flood. Okay, so imagine the mud flood came in here, and this was all filled up. Okay, and what we would have done is we would have dug out. Okay, the uh, area here. And left this and built a retaining wall. Okay. Now, the other theory that that is the theory I, I believe that all that was mud flood and we came in dug that out, built the retaining wall, installed the uh, pavement lights and opened up, took out the windows and doors and opened it up and used the basements. And said that we were trying to use the basements. When in reality, we're trying to get to the windows and doors. We're trying to cover that up. Okay. And then we tried to utilize the space, which is really stupid. But anyways. Um, the other theory is that uh, the mud flood raised up to this point. Okay. And this Retaining wall was already here. The sidewalk was already here. The pavement light was already here. And there's uh, windows and doors and 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 uh, prism lights and 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 everything was already. All this was here, and this is what it looked like. Okay. And the mud flow came in, and th basically th there was a wall here, and there was nothing here. And the mud flow came in, filled up this area alone, and then stopped right at the sidewalk. Or it might have covered up a little bit over here. And then they came in and dug that out. Okay, that just doesn't make sense. You, you, if you look at the Tartarian buildings or the old world buildings or whatever, and, and you look at the, the amazing construction, do you really think that they would actually build something so stupid? I mean, this is ridiculous. And if you don't know about construction, that's okay. What I'm telling you is this is ridiculous. And anybody out there that knows construction knows these things are ridiculous. They're ridiculous. Okay, they're, they, this would be such a pain in the tail to design and, and to build. And it, for what purpose? It, 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 it's ridiculous. I don't care what time frame you're in. Okay, moving on. Okay, what we got here is we got um, an area that uh, my theory is that they came in and they dug out all the dirt. Okay, it was surrounding surrounding this whole area here. Okay, this whole area. I believe all this was mud flood. Okay. All this business, okay. Excuse my fancy artwork. I know it's the best you've ever seen, and Picasso is, you know, basically going to have to quit painting because once this is seen, it won't, you know, there will be no purpose. But all this was mud flood, okay. All this was mud flood, okay. There was nothing here but mud, dirt, okay. Big old dirt sandwich, okay. And we came in. This is my theory. We came in. And, okay, we uncovered that dirt, okay, that, and we built the retaining wall, and you have the dirt here, we didn't remove this, we had to remove this part, because we had to build the retaining wall, okay, but we uncovered all this, and we took out the windows and doors, and put in our pavement light, and all that whole happy horse shit, and then the other theory, is that the these pavement lights were here and the mud flow came in and filled up everything you see here in brown okay right and they were these were already here so i don't believe that but that is the other theory okay so i'm presenting both theories and you make up your own damn mind okay and so this could have been covered up in mud too okay I mean, it might have been covered up here, okay, you know, three, four feet, whatever. Well, I don't know. 
Okay? But that's the other theory, is that they came in and they uncovered that. Ah, oh, look what we found. Pavement light. No, I don't think so. I mean, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, that that's saying that the people that built these amazing buildings built this horse shit. That, that, that this makes sense to to the old world. It, it to me, it doesn't make sense because it it, it failed. And it, I'm not talking about it failed now in our time, like today, like in 2021. I'm talking about it has it failed a while back. Okay, this didn't last very long. Okay, if you study the history of this, you, you you'll find that this stuff. It, it it did not last very long because once it get, had any problems, uh, it it just it just broke in. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, this is a picture that comes from Seattle, um, which is actually where I found the pavement lights the first time when I was studying the mud flood in Seattle, and uh, this is what got my attention. But anyways, uh, the story in Seattle is, and I'm I shit you not, the the official story is that they uh, built these vaults here and put stairs down here so people could get down to the businesses. And they, they had ladders. This is this one is stairs, but a lot of times they just had ladders. But so many people were dying from just being drunk and falling in the damn holes <laughs> that they decided to close them up. That's the official story. You see how you got your vaults down here? But let's see, if you think about the way that I think it happened, okay, is that the mud flood came in and it covered up, okay, all this, okay? Okay, all this mud, all this was mud, okay? All this bit there, okay? All this got covered in mud, okay? Okay, your mud flood came in, all right? And that's what, okay, that's what we found, okay? And then we came in, and we uncovered the mud, okay? We uncovered it, we, we dug out the dirt, and we built the retaining walls, and the sidewalks, and the pavement lights. And we opened up, took out the windows and doors, brought them up here. And this could be this door right here. Let's just say this door, this big old door, this could have been double. I bet we built these stairs here, you know, but this could have been a big old giant door. This could have gone down a whole nother story. But these right here probably came from down here. I know this is just a drawing, but now the, the other theory, I'm still giving out the other theory because some people believe this out there. And I want you to make up your own damn mind. Like I said, they believe that that we these were already here that the pavement lights were already here and you know maybe it was covered in mud okay right and they came in and uncovered it and go oh look we got pavement lights and and big old openings and, and retaining walls and that's already there okay i i just don't believe that i i'd structurally from a a, a construction standpoint it doesn't make sense it 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 is too difficult you have to you, you have to in order to make this open in here okay it, you, you have to it has to be structural it's a pain in the butt you you have to it, it's complicated okay here we go again um but my theory is that uh all this was mud flood cover all this in so you see the mud coming in mud comes in and floods up the areas blah 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 okay so this is all mud we came in we uncovered it okay we left this here back here here okay and your street was up here this is your retaining wall and your pavement light sidewalks this is your building over here and the other theory is that the mud was actually here, and this was all here, and then they came in and uncovered that. Okay. 
I, I just it, it's it's it, it yes that sounds like the simpler way I understand that yes okay it's easier just to move off a little bit of dirt as opposed to a lot of dirt that's not I, that, I'm not going to argue that because that that actually makes sense what I'm going to argue is that you would never build this way <laughs> this is insanity okay to build this structure it, it, it it's, it's hard to explain if you've never done construction work how difficult this thing is to build it takes a lot of money it takes a lot of materials it takes a lot of labor it it has to be engineered it it, it is very complicated if you screw up the building comes down okay this isn't playtime this isn't you know something amateurs do this isn't you know you go down to home depot and you buy some damn brick and you just slap some shit up there no this is professional okay this you have to know what the hell you're doing or you're going to drop your building on your head okay this isn't easy and they did this all around the world this was standard operating procedure and usually when it's standard operating procedure, you know, it's pretty much basically a cover up. OK, it's like, how did they get, you know, people, all people all around the world to wear a damn face mask all at one time? OK, because it's a planned procedure. OK, it, it's a planned thing. OK, we can't agree on anything country to country. OK, yet they can get everybody in the damn world to wear the damn mask at the same time. <laughs> if you believe that one i got some ice in alaska i'll say you know what i'm saying okay so here is is, is you know this huge area and, and it, it, yeah they had to displace all this this dirt yes that's pain ass but i think i don't think they were going after the damn basements i think that they were trying to go after the windows and the doors Okay, I think number one, they wanted to use the windows and doors. And number two, I think that they, they needed to hide the mud flood because they knew that people were going to see. Okay, look, if you had the windows and doors below ground, okay, and you let people into the cities after reset, okay, and you did not remove the windows and doors down here and all you had on the first floor was windows well first of all you didn't have any doors right because it's the second story or the third or the fourth okay so you can't get in the damn thing unless you go through the window second off you need windows and doors because well you don't want to go through the windows to get into your building okay third off you know there's windows and doors below ground because there's been a mud flood okay then you don't want people to later be down in the basement and see windows and doors below ground and go, wait a minute. Well, we've got windows on the first floor, but then we got doors in the basement. Now, what is that about? Huh? And, you know, even the dumbest of the dumb will be able to figure out that that don't make no damn sense. Okay. So I think they were going after the windows and doors. I think they this I think pavement prism light is cover up for the mud flood. I don't think it's a fix for the mud flood. I think it is a cover up for the mud flood. Think about what you're doing here. You're taking all this out, you're removing something, you're putting something over it. What is that? It's cover up. Okay? It's a cover up in plain sight. Okay? You want to find the cover up for the mud flood? You want to know how they hit it? It's right there in front of our faces. It's called prism pavement lighting. Okay? It's your proof of the mud flood. Okay? But you got to study the details of it. Okay? So, I'm trying to make the point here. Moving on. Okay, here we go again. And I'm going to cover up where the mud comes in. Mud's filling up, you know. I know I'm doing it backwards. I guess it would be more dramatic and cinematic if I did it from the bottom up. But I didn't, so get over it. Okay, so you got your mud flow. We come in here, we go, oh, oh man, we got to get them winners and doors. 
well, let's dig it out. Okay, we build a retaining wall right there. Gonna build our retaining wall and gonna build our vault. I'm gonna open up here, take these winters and doors out of here. It'll leave us an open. Then we can have a sub basement down here because this has obviously got sub basement. But anyways, we're gonna put our pavement lights above here. We're gonna be able to see down to our basement. We're gonna have our windows and doors up here because all right now we have to climb in the windows and we're tired of that shit. Or you got the other theory that says that they were already there and it was covered up to mud with here, okay? And they came in and uncovered it. Okay. Now, I, I see how that theory could be, you know, taken that this is, you know, old world technology and that, you know, it's easier to do that than it is what I just described. But um, you just have to understand what they're doing here. It, it's not, they're not trying to light the basement here. <laughs> That's not the point. I know that's what they say the point is. This is is this is uh, uh it's kind of lipstick on a pig. It, it it's it's it, it, it's showy. Okay, they're they're trying to to uh to take your your mind and your eyes off what's really there. Um, it, it's 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 a way of distracting you from what's really going on. That's my opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. That's mine. Okay. Uh, the above is cut shows sidewalk made of illuminating concrete light with floor lights beneath to illuminate the sub cellar. So this is your uh, pavement lights going down into a sub basement there. And uh, right here you would have uh, the street. So this would all be dirt here. Okay. And uh, as my theory, as I've said already, is that all this was the mud flood okay this was all okay this was all filled in the gold mud flood coming in mud flood ain't nothing but liquid dirt okay and it goes this one's big okay got a lot of mud on this one good grief let's get all the mud up there okay so there's all your mud okay so all this was covered in we came in we dug it out and we put in our retaining wall and our steel eye beams and we took out the windows and doors put them up on the first floor of course the first floor would have been on this one would have been down here um and then they uh put in these columns here you know this isn't a real picture but you see how detailed these columns are um and they would have uh, had to create headers up here. You know, this is really important. Um, you know, if uh, they had to make sure these foundations remain, remain solid and you have to put headers across here. Okay, so, you know, if they didn't have a header here, if, if this was it, let me explain this. How do I explain this? Okay, if, say, this was a wall here and there were no windows and doors, then you would have to open up this wall and cr create a header up here. Now, if you don't know what a header is, a header, uh, basically, it supports the weight over a span. Okay, so from here to here, this point right here and this point right here, okay, in between the columns, that's it right here too. It holds up, this is called the header, okay? And this holds up the center, okay? So you have to have support underneath the center between the columns, okay? The foundational columns. You have to have that header support. And if this was all bricked up, which it wouldn't have been brick because brick, you don't use brick below ground for foundations, but then you would have to come in here and take out and put in a header, which is a pain in the ass because i'm going to tell you the truth you have to jack the building up to do it okay you you have to get this raised up in order to get the header in because the header has to go on top of this column and this column and then from here to there it's got to go on top of here and on top of here and from on top of here and on top of here you have to it can't just go in between it has to go on top of the column in order to support the weight 
It's a structural thing, okay? So if this was bricked up, okay, which is, uh, you know, funny thing is that the official story, okay, that this, I should make this point, the official story states that that's what they did, that they came in here and they knocked these walls out, these side walls, and they put in headers and columns and and made openings here so they could use the basement so they could get the light down here into the basement that's the official story well that's complete horseshit that's even more horseshit i think than that that the, the they were already here with the mud coming up to here like this and they just dug it out and and they're like oh look they got pavement light there oh we can now use that area I just that dog don't hunt Okay, last picture. Um, this will be the uh, road here. Uh, this will be the dirt here, and your roads up here. Okay. And uh, from my theory is that the mud flood came in and it covered over all this. Blah blah here. Okay, mud flood, mud flood, mud flood. Ah, it's a mud flood right for your lives. Ah. ah. Okay. So all that's mud flow, we come in, we remove it, we install a retaining wall with vault, and then we open up the, the walls here and take out the windows and doors. And then you got the other theory where they were already there, and the mud came in, ooh, mud came in like this, and covered up, and they came in, they dug that out, and they found that. I, I don't know. It, I don't know how to explain it much better than that, but my theory is that we built this elaborate horseshit, and it was not constructed in the old world. The buildings were, no doubt, but we designed this shit. We designed this crap. Okay, we installed the pavement lights that's my theory i'm sticking to it unless somebody can prove me wrong so the challenge is on the table prove me wrong i welcome a, you know somebody to show me a different theory that you know would make sense and they could prove it and you know show it to me i'd like to see it if, if you think that that these were already here installed okay they were and i'm talking about in the place they are i'm not talking about oh they were down here and they moved up. no no i don't think they did that either but i think if they did have this technology i think it was used in a completely different way anyways that's my theory um there's the two theories so basically uh which came first the chicken or the egg uh the chicken is the building and the egg is the pavement lights and i believe the chicken came first and I believe the egg, the pavement lights came second. Um, and uh, the other theory is that the egg came first along with the chicken at the same time. So basically, uh, the second theory is that uh, the pavement lights and the buildings were done at the same time in the old world and that we discovered them later after the mud flood. Okay. Um, but my point is that if you have pavement light prior to the mud flood you can't have mud flood and if you have pavement light if you have mud flood then the pavement light has to come later okay because if you had mud flood it would have covered over this okay because you know it didn't happen where it goes mud flood goes oh i'm going to come just to this point here and i'm going to stop I mean, does that make sense that it was perfect? Does it make sense that the, the, the level of mud raised to this point, okay, to this level and stopped all around the world? Okay. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? No. Okay. It, so, so if you had mud flood, it either stopped. If, if you're saying that this is installed prior, you know, in the old world, and 
then the mud flood would have come in here and either stopped here or it would have gone above. Okay, which, okay, you know, that's a lot of weight. That much weight probably, possibly, would have collapsed all this. Okay, that you got to understand when that mud came in, it was full of water. It was mud. Okay, and, and water and dirt, and not to mention whatever it was bringing along with it at the time. God knows what was in there trees i don't know and that's laying on top of this do you don't think that would have just fallen right in you it can't support a two-ton car how's it supposed to re, re, you know support all this you know mud it wasn't there people okay this is my theory i've i've, I've done the best i can uh today uh, maybe i'll be able to do better in the future um, i'm still learning um but anyways this big's out. can see this is my kung fu and it is strong see you later